today when I was studying, I was reading in Luke chapter 5, verses 1 through 6. And this was the verse where um, Jesus was starting his ministry and he went down by the Sea of Galilee and he saw Peter and John and all the disciples that he hadn't picked yet and they were fishing. They were having a hard time uh, catching fish all night and Christ, when he walked up to him, he was talking about making them fishers of men. And what grabbed my attention about this scripture and it keeps coming back to me every day and I don't know why, I really believe that God is trying to show me that that's where my trust needs to be. If you remember, Jesus had told Peter, he said, throw your nets over here. And Peter immediately, like we do with God, was like, Jesus, we've been fishing all night. We've been doing it in our own strength all night and we've caught nothing. There's your first clue right there. We try to do things in our own strength and we wonder why we have no results. And I've had this situation in my life many times where I've tried to do things on my own, in my own strength. And God keeps bringing me back to this scripture. I've been dealing with some stuff lately that I've been trying to do. And God keeps bringing me back to this scripture, reminding me that my trust needs to be in Him and not in what I'm trying to do in my own strength with my own efforts. So in the scripture, when Jesus told Peter, put your nets here on this side of the boat, what's the first thing Peter did? Exactly what we do. Jesus, I've been doing it all night. We forget that Christ created everything and all things. So he can move a mountain just as easily as he can tell the fish to go to this side of the boat. What ended up happening was Peter gave Jesus pushback. He finally decided to give in, duh, clue. He finally decided to give in and listen to what Christ was telling him. How does Christ tell us things? Through his word. You gotta read your Bible. So when he put the net over the side of the boat and they laid down their nets. They had so many fish, they couldn't even contain them. They had to call other fishermen to come over and help them because they couldn't even contain how much they caught. And when they went to put the fish in the boat, the boats were overflowing to the point where they were almost sinking. And I guess the point I'm trying to make in this situation is whenever you're trying to do things in your own strength and you're trying to make things happen in your own strength, it doesn't matter what it is whether it's trying to get a promotion or trying to strive for this job or trying to win this girl's heart. What we lose in this equation is we keep God out of it because we're trying to make things happen in our own time frame and how we want it to happen. And then we end up not only messing things up because we're not depending on God. What does he say in his word? It says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. This is another scripture he keeps bringing me back to. So in the things I'm dealing with in my own life, there's some, some businesses and things I'm trying to build right now, and I'm trying to do it all in my own strength. And I'm just being transparent because I know as humans, most of us tend to do this. And God keeps bringing me back every day to this scripture about casting my nets like he told Peter to do. And when he listened to what God told him to do, case in point, Seek him first. That's the first portion of it. And the second part is, listen when Christ tells you to do something. But if you're not studying your word and you're not reading, how are you going to listen to what Christ is telling you? What we tend to forget is God speaks to us through his word. And his word is basically his love letter to us. So if you're not studying his word, there's no way you're gonna know what it is he wants to show you or how he's going to speak to you. So make sure you take time every day to seek him first. And I'm guilty of this. Um, every day I get up and I immediately write to my business ideas and I'm trying to work on the things that I think I can do in my own strength. And I'm telling you, every day God reminds me of this scripture. So today I was actually proud of myself because even though I know what I need to be doing as a believer, which is practicing those disciplines of fasting and prayer and really trying to model what God has already told us to do in his word and to get out of my own head and quit trying to do everything in my own strength because I want a Peter moment. I want to seek God first so that when I listen to him and he tells me to cast my efforts and my ideas over here, then I will see the success. Not to mention, here's another scripture that I'm not even mentioning. Here's a third portion of it. So the first portion would be seek 
first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. The second scripture was Luke verses 1 through 5 where he talks about casting your fish or your nets over here. And when they listened, they caught so many fish, the boat was sinking. And the third portion is God desires to give you the desires of your heart. So he knows what your desires are and he knows what my desires are. But if you're not doing things in order, you have to remember God is a God of order. So if you're not doing things in order, if things are out of order and they're chaotic, God's not in the midst of that. So my encouragement to you today is to seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. It doesn't matter if it's, I wanna be married, I'm looking for the right woman, um, hoping to get this promotion, I need a new job, uh, my family needs a new home, we need more income, it doesn't matter what it is. And again, I'm preaching to myself because if you don't seek him first, and you're wondering why you're bumping your head every day and it seems like nothing is happening. I truly believe that's why. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. That means seek everything. Seek after him, chase after him. Get in his word every day, spend time in prayer, talk to him. The only way you get to know somebody is by spending time with them. And the only way you can spend time with God is by reading his word and by spending time in prayer. So be blessed, I love y'all.